Hey there again, and a very happy new year to you all. If you're looking for some great sounding buds on a budget, the £60 Earfun 3 Pro and £40 Soundpeats 2 Engine 3SE are two of the most recommended non-premium brand TWS earbuds touted throughout YouTube as having high sound quality. But how do they sound? How effective is the Pro's active noise cancellation? And are there any key differences to bear in mind? Well, I've tried a new format with a single track being played and turned through each earbud and then with the various ANC modes activated and simulated cafe background noise. So as usual, put on your best earphones or headphones and let's take a listen. Welcome to GI Chow. So kicking off with the Airfun Free Pro. <clears throat> on my laptop. <clears throat> have done it. <clears throat> okay, that's a good volume, it's around 75. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Now I'm just going to try out the noise cancelling on the earphone 3 Pros again. I think to activate this you need to press something like three times on the left earbud. So I'm going to try that one out. <coughs> See if it's working. Oh, it's a bit too loud. Let's get that down. Yeah, at 66 is a comfortable volume for these. Right, so I'm going to put some background noise on. And, um, let's just see what the effect of the isolation is without any music playing. Normal noise cancelling. Ambient sound. Normal. Noise cancelling. Now, some of my beautiful and wise viewers have pointed out, do bear in mind with wireless earbuds that the same or better sound quality could often be had in other form factors for less money. With TWS, some of your money is of course going into the case, batteries, internal amps and microphone. Furthermore, there are several factors to consider as well as sound quality, including price, the controls, touch, button, format and so on, connectivity, latency, ANC, microphone, portability, IP rating, security of fit, comfort, aesthetics, battery, you get the picture. So you can check out my other videos for more comparable sound recordings and detailed earbud reviews and consider these factors more. And my main interest is always sound quality and in a nutshell while both have a fairly even frequency response and clear and detailed natural mids both lack a little treble sparkle and air the sound peaks edition has a rolled off bass 
As far as A and C goes, the passive isolation of both buds is more effective than the pro's active noise cancellation. Now, despite these sound quality flaws, I personally love the TWS form factor and use them much more than my more expensive and recognized hi-fi audio, like my great, if unreliable, and garish looking wired shewer tapes or my HD 600 hi-fi reference headphones. So in terms of listening time per pound, for me, their value is off the charts. So in short then, perhaps just take a minute to consider your individual real world use case. There's little point getting a great sounding or great value audio device and then hardly using it. Now, an upcoming video is going to compare the sound of several wireless earbuds from the humble $15 half in ear i10 AirPod clones to the $150 Sennheiser CX400 BT, my current TWS audiophile reference. So do subscribe if you want to not miss out on that one. So folks, there you go. What do you think? Let everyone know in a comment below. And if you found this video useful, you can help others find it by liking or commenting or subscribing below. But for now, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.